Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Monkey Putter with another course review from PGA Tour 2K21. This course is called Shepherd's Crook GC. I'm going to be playing off the black tee at 7,387 yards. Uh, usual kind of conditions, firm, firm, fast, medium wind speed, default direction, and uh, I've gone for dawn as the time of day with some light cloud. So let's head down to that first tee and we'll get this round underway. Okay, now I haven't warmed up, I haven't been on the driving range, so this is going to be interesting to see how I get on. The first hole here we got is a par 4, 446, it's a pretty narrow fairway, so it's going to be a tough drive, and that's quite a strong wind as well, 12 miles per hour. Yeah, it's in good shape. Well, that stopped really quick and that's why it hit the upslope it's a nice opening birdie You can see there we've got a couple of par fives on the front nine. Here's one of them. No shortcuts here. It's a dog leg, so we're going to have to play the hole as it's intended to be played. So we've still got about 300 yards to go, but it's slightly downhill, but into the wind. That fairway slopes quite a bit to the right, so we're going to have to be a bit careful here. slightly fast will it come back on the breeze at all yeah twenty nine yards That ran on a bit more than I would have liked. Nice start to the round.
par three at the third. This one's downwind. It's about one fifty two. <laughs> Sure, that's going to be quite enough club. Um, so you can see there's a quite a severe slope at the front of this green. That's a good result. That's a good putt. A fourth hole. It's a fairly short par four with the wind behind as well. And that's going to help. It's not drivable, but. Um, if I hit this well, it should set me up nicely for my second shot. Oh dear, that's not a good swing. Oh, that's in trouble. That's a really bad swing. Ugh. Oh my goodness, how lucky was that? She could have done without missing the flag. I was lucky there to get a birdie with that uh, poor tee shot. Now this hole is certainly drivable, especially with that wind behind. I think that a bit slow. Needs a bounce to the left. Oh, it's got one. This is coming round quite nicely. I was going to run too far. That's a shame. It's a par four, though. A longer par four here, dog leg left. Certainly don't want to go right here. 
back into the wind as well. So this is going to be playing long. It's a nice drive. It's a really pretty part of the course here on the coast. right not quite distance was good the boat in the background there with the bridge par 3 at the 7th this is a considerably longer one don't think my hybrid is going to reach so I'm going to hit the 3 wood but I'm going to take a little bit off it here Slow, that's a shame. Bunker bound. Oh, it's stuck on the bank. I think I'd rather be in the bunker than on the bank. shot Wow, that's a great par save. I was in all sorts of trouble there. On to the eighth. Another par five. Oh, that's really pretty. You've got the jetty there with the yacht and the other smaller boats. Car parking behind the the building there and that looks really nice now this is quite a tricky drive that's the brave route but it requires a very good swing even that's not a safe route though because it's a narrow fairway with trouble left and right this is a very difficult drive Have I got away with it? Yes, I think so. Just about. That's a tough drive. Now, this is in reach, but it's very difficult to get close to the flag. So that bunker behind the green's not a bad place to end up. 
not sure with the wind behind whether my hybrid would reach. It's uphill, so it's going to be roughly 240 yards. It's going to be cutting it really close. No, it's not going to make it. Go. No. No, oh dear, I'm in terrible trouble now. Should have played the percentage short. Gone down that right-hand side. Now, this is about damage limitation now. I have no idea what this is going to do. Absolutely no idea. <laughs> oh dear, okay. Oh, well it came out, but it came out too well. Could have done with that running a bit further. Well, that's another scrambled par. That's a good hole. It's I obviously took a big risk there and it didn't pay off, so I should have gone up the right hand side, just played it safe. So I was very fortunate there to scramble a par. On to the ninth. Now, is that out of bounds down the left? No, it's not. You could try and hit one off the path, but I'm not going to. Let's see if we can hit that fairway. Clubhouse in the background there. Now then, this one's a little uphill. It's going to be playing about one, about 140. Got the wind there as well. Used to bite. Tricky pin placement, this one. That's a really good putt. I'm pleased with that one. Well, I like the front nine. It's got some tough holes there. Needs some careful course management to uh, to score well. Obviously, I took a couple of risks which didn't pay off. Although I was lucky on one of the holes. It's 
playing about 118 downwind. It's a bit long. No, uh, misread that one. Hole 11. With the wind behind, I need to be careful here. I don't drive the ball too far and go into that rough or into that sand trap so I'm going to hit the driver but I'm going to take a lot of it ah another poor swing should be okay I say that but that's going to run out of fairway after everything I just said okay. that's poor it's heavy rough but it's not too bad that's 82 to 89 percent big slope there in this green Oh, I've completely misjudged that. That's an awful, awful shot. Yeah, that's terrible. My goodness me, look at the putt I've left myself. Yeah, I shall be very glad if I can two-putt this, but this is a bit of a nightmare putt, this one. looking pretty good considering where I was that was a good two putt I'm struggling a bit on the back nine nice par three here we've got water short and long downhill but it's into the wind so it's one four one oh, I've hit it fast Not a great shot. Safely on the green though. And this one goes two ways. This starts off going left to right and then right to left at the end.
It's tracking well. That's a great putt. Delighted with that one. My first birdie of the back nine. Now we've got a short par four here at 13. Tricky drive though. It's a narrow fairway. Oh, I've hit a slow swing this time. Determined not to hit it fast and I've gone the other way. long but safely on Needs to turn. Oh, not quite. Just a par. Poor tee shot cost me there. Fourteenth. Now this is a short par four. Uh, just under 300 yards, and it's downhill as well. Three woods not going to do it. Got to be very, very careful here. Hmm, can't decide whether to go for it. No, it's too risky. I wonder if I can get that as a semi rough path there. Whether I can hit that with a three wood. Let's try that. No, I haven't allowed enough for the win. That's going to be bunker bound. Needs to spin. Ah, uh, it didn't. Oh, I've misread that one as well. Not playing very well today, not to worry. That's a tricky little par four, that one. Now, 15th is a par five, and I seem to remember looking at the scorecard that the 16th is also a par five. Personally, I'm not a big fan, and I know I've said this many a times in previous videos, I'm not a big fan of back-to-back -back par fives or par threes, but that's purely personal preference.
It's a long one, this as well. It's 6.35 and it's uphill. This is going to be a three-shotter, even if I do hit the fairway, I think. Another slow swing. A bit disappointing, but it's on the fairway. Slightly up here, so it's going to be playing about a hundred yards into the wind. Yeah, that's pretty good. So par five again here at 16. OK, we've got a split fairway here. I'm going to try and go down that left-hand side because if I can hit the fairway, it's a better line in for the second shot. That's a good drive. Narrow green here. And it slopes either side of the hole, so I'm not expecting really to hit the green here, but I'll see if I can get as close as I can. I'm going to hit the hybrid. It's, chances are this might be a little bit short, but I think it's the safer option. It's a small target. Could do with a bounce to the left if possible. Stay up. Ah, it's going to trickle into the. Oh no, no, it stayed on the fairway. It's in good shape there. enough and it's slightly slow that's a shame that's a birdie though on to 17 par 3 over a lot of water interesting shape green this one the, the, the pin position is like in a bowl so if I can get it in that bowl, I shouldn't be too far away. It's quite a lengthy one though, 220 yards into the, into the breeze. Ah, just caught that up slope and it, it oh it didn't come back very far either. Yeah, just caught the up slope at the front of the green there and it kicked it to the left. Fairly straight putt here though. 
Subtle break. Yeah, it's a good putt. Pleased with that. On to the final hole of the round, 18. Par 4. 441 yards, slightly uphill. Wind off the right-hand side. I've hit that slightly fast that could be in trouble ah, it's going to catch the slope as well it's going to go left yeah that's a poor swing I'm in heavy rough tricky pin placement too tucked far left don't think I can reach the green anyway so I've got to be careful here Ball is well above my feet as well. This is a horrible shot. 11 mile an hour wind off the right. Ah, that's actually not what I would have wanted. I would have preferred that to have been short and been chipping rather than leaving myself a long putt. Yeah, this is this is a tough one. Big right to left swing at the start of this putt. Well, this could go horribly wrong. The line is looking quite good. Surely I'm not going to hold that, am I? <laughs> That's a great effort. Well, there you go. That's my round. I'm delighted with 11 under because that's not an easy course. It's the first time I played it and it's got some real challenging holes. Um, you've really got to think your way around some of them especially so uh, many congratulations to the course designer i highly recommend playing that one and um, whack the wind speeds up as well that would be a real challenge as you can see i didn't hit many fairways there. i did i didn't play great but um that is a that is a really challenging course so i'm going to rate that one i'm going to give it uh i'm going to add it to my favorites uh and i'm going to give it I'm going to give it four stars because I really like the challenge. Uh, my only minor criticism is the fact that, and this is only personal preference, is the fact that there were two back-to-back -back par fives. And I, again, I just personally don't like that. But other than that, well designed, plenty of challenges uh, to make you think. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button down below and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd really, really appreciate it. So take care everyone and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.